Welcome to How to Adjust on your Westminster Chime. In this video, I'm going to show you how to properly adjust your strike so that your strike goes off when it's supposed to and it has enough run and it's properly adjusted so that it rests in between the teeth of the star wheel and so that your weight on the strike side goes down evenly with your time and chime. So there's a number of different striking uh, mechanisms and I'm going to show you a couple examples of how they work. Okay, so this is a grandfather clock that I just finished repairing. Um, and this is your strike hammer, okay? And the way that this works is, in here, there's a little star. We call this the star wheel. And as the star wheel turns, it lifts that silver rod in there, which is connected here, and lifts the hammers, okay? So now, as I turn this, it's going to strike the number of hours. See over here, it's lifting the rack. And then when it gets to the bottom of the rack, the warning wheel will stop. But what do we have here? We have a situation actually where, if you look at the strike hammers, okay, they're still raised and they're not in the proper position and that's because this silver piece that interfaces with the star wheel is not correctly positioned all right it's still resting on one of the teeth now there's a couple things you can do to remedy this situation and it's different on different clocks but I'll show you the the things that you can do Okay guys, so you have this situation here where you don't have what's called enough run. So when you have this situation here where the pin on the strike hammer is still resting on one of the star wheel teeth and that the uh, hammers are not properly uh, going into place, a simple solution you can do is these star wheels are actually just, uh, they spin on the shaft of most of these wheels, okay? And you can verify to be safe that it moves on the shaft before you assemble the clock by turning it with your pliers but I happen to know that this one does and I'll simply take a screwdriver I'll rest it against the back of one of the uh, posts that holds the clock together and what I'll do is I'll go ahead and then apply pressure very carefully wheel it should be exactly in the center of those two teeth um, and that way the hammers will fall in the correct position uh, when you strike also you if you don't have it positioned correctly the clock could not properly strike because there's not enough um, run or inertia to lift the hammer when the clock starts to release the strike okay so one of the easiest ways to fix this problem is take a screwdriver put it against the tooth of the star wheel a post here and I'm gonna apply pressure very carefully and spin the star wheel on the shaft like so okay Now you can see that the strike hammers are correctly positioned uh, and all the way down, okay? The other thing that you can do, right? So now we see that that pin here is in between the two teeth evenly. So the other thing you can do is you look on the back side, okay? You see this spring here. You can actually, um, this uh, catches here. So you can actually um, rotate this up if necessary to correctly position the resting position of those strike hammers. All right? So that's how you do it on this particular style of clock. When you have your star wheel is not in the correct position, uh, the star wheel 
will actually spin on the shaft of the arbor and you can move it with a screwdriver. Okay, on this style of clock, this chain driven grandfather clock, you still have your star wheel, but it's a little bit of a different type of strike hammer. So if you look on the back here, you don't have the spring that catches it. Rather, this little wire that sticks out from the hammer catches in this groove on the plate. And that's actually what prevents these hammers from falling all the way down. So if you don't have this properly adjusted, if I was to bend this wire outside so this falls all the way down, it'll rest on one of the tooth of the star wheel. So looking from the back side of the plate, you can look in that groove And you can see that this wire is resting on the on the plate, and that's what prevents um, the silver piece. Okay, the silver piece in here. See my screwdriver touching that silver piece there. Okay, that's the piece that is lifted by the star wheel. That piece will drop down. It'll drop down too far and rest on the tooth of the star wheel if this wire is not catching this plate in the proper position. So you can bend this wire so that you ensure that that uh, lifting wire or lifting spade that's in there is exactly uh, in the middle of the two teeth of the star wheel inside the clock. And that's how you would adjust it on this one. In the same way that I showed you before, you would move the star wheel so with a screwdriver so that that uh, uh, lifting spade is exactly in the middle of two teeth of the star wheel when it's in the resting position. Okay, on this style of movement, we have the lifting mechanism here in the back, okay? And there's a little um, silver piece here, shaped like an L or a wishbone, with a bent piece that goes into the plate and interfaces, again, with your star wheel here. Okay, but it's on this side, the interface. And in the same fashion that I showed you in the other clock, you want to make sure this piece here is exactly in the center between the two teeth of the star wheel. And you can move this star wheel again by putting a screwdriver against one of the teeth, resting against this arbor here, and very carefully and gently while holding the movement, you can actually rotate that star wheel on the arbor of the shaft of that gear. All right? All right guys, so let's test it out. So when you um, have the star wheel adjusted properly on the hour, as the strike hammer lifts, has enough run, which means a little bit of space to go before it lifts that first strike. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. See how it stopped in between the two teeth? That's exactly what you want to see. All right? So when you're scratching your head and trying to figure out why it is that your clock is not striking properly or that the weight is not going down evenly with the time and chime, realize that you may have the star wheel out of adjustment so that the uh, lifting wire does not have enough uh, run so that the uh, momentum of the, the gear doesn't have enough force to overcome the resistance of the strike hammer. So make sure that the lifting wire is exactly in between two teeth of that star wheel. And that will solve your problem. Okay, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe 
and leave a comment.